Hello, I'm Richard Chapman. I'm the author of The Complete Guitarist. Those are the opening chords for my piece called Elusa, which is the opening track on my new CD, Lost Places. They are often called close voicings because they contain notes from a scale which are adjacent to each other in the chord. So the first chord, for example, has five notes, these five notes, which are all grouped together to create a beautiful sound which is full of mystery and magic. And so I often write pieces of music with these voicings. Recently I've been trying to think about these voicings and I wanted to replace all my standard chords with unusual close, close voicings which kind of, kind of have a bit of a bittersweet beauty in them. And one of the ways I've done this is to think of the chords as being adaptations of what are known as standard voicings. Um, this isn't particularly difficult to explain. If I have a chord like C major 7, I can simply revoice it. So instead of going C, B, E, G, it goes C, B, D, C, B, D, E. It becomes a C major 9. But the interesting thing for me is to turn that into a scale with chords. And it creates some really fantastically interesting, beautiful sounds and harmonies. First of all we have D minor 9 and then an E Phrygian chord a Lydian chord, I'll move down here, G mix Lydian and then A minor 9 and then the B Locrian chord I often use these chords in progressions and I use them if I'm trying to think of standard harmony and they can create some beautiful effects, for example this B chord here I sometimes put a G in the top I use that in a few of my tunes or I can use it in a progression to go to an A chord like this Actually there are literally hundreds of possibilities on close voicings um, people think there are a few, but there are probably more than two dozen on each chord root on the guitar. And um, it's quite good to just make them up by trying different things. For example, I might play a C minor chord, C minor 7, and put the ninth, instead of putting the ninth up there, put it next to the root and have a sound like that. I can use the chord up there, dropping the top note off. I love sixth, sixth and seventh together as well. For example, you have a C six seven, and I might play a D minor chord with a sixth and seventh, so a D six, D minor six seven. And again, you can create chords like that. It's quite nice to play chords in a progression, and the cycle of fourths is great, actually, for chords. Um, I could start with, say, this chord, which is just a chord I played earlier, but with a top note, an A, a sort of 13th or 6th in the upper register. Move that across to an F6-7, and then keep the whole progression going through your cycle of fourths, B-flat. sequence it's really really beautiful what I'm planning to do on video is to open up this whole area and I don't think it's really been done before um, I've got hundreds of ideas and I'm going to try and do a series of um, videos on this in the next few months